Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. In previous video, we have seen from G3 state to S5 state, how and what are the signals it will be. So in this video, I am going to tell you S5 state to S0 state, what are the main main important signals. Please note down, important signals only I am going to explain, not whole thing. Okay. If one signal comes, what are the voltages or what are the signals will generate one more. That won't, I won't tell just i will give an hint what are the signals in order okay you have to go to youtube and just type pavitra laptop care enter my channel name is plc this one pavitra laptop care just enter that welcome here to is the option care. just join me with here two options are there one is 299 rupees per month it's a schematic reading you can learn only schematic readings in these options other one is chip level services it's a 799 rupees complete chip level repair here many more videos you can get regarding the complete chip level services so now in this video it's a power button from power button to plt rst what are the main signals see now we'll begin from the power button see many confusions will be there regarding the power button some technician will tell its IO will generate the power button. Hmm? How this power button will work? So that I am going to tell you. See, here is the first button. What is the button? It's a power press button. How it looks? See, here there will be no voltage at all starting. Okay. See, here four leg on button will be there. It's a one and two and here three and four will be connected. Two will be ground and two will be one signal. It will generate one signal. That's called KBC power button. Okay. Next, where it will go? See here. Here one more connection is connecting to this particular signal. What is that? Here is the N channel. What is the transistor? So what are the collector part will be there? Once base will come, so it will pass to emitter, right? So what is that? Here it's a charge ampere LED. It means LED is connecting to this particular signal means that power button LED will be there now that also will be connected to this next where it will go here is a IO board see this one is IO board connector here IO board connector this particular pin pin number 18 here also it has connected see here this one is power switch logic so what are the things connected here one is LED connected and directly the power button is connected here that signal will come to this particular register what is that r2432 okay after this register what's uh, the logic is the 3d 3v volts see this one is pull up register 100k almost pull up registers are 100k 10k like that it will be there here is the 100k register hmm? here through this pull up this path complete this path from here to io it will uh, get the voltage from where see through this path the pull up register is here through this pull up register 3d 3v ecv bad signal or voltage will give the supply to this particular path now this kpc power button what name it got now it got power switch in now where it will go that you need to check see here it goes to mac 1515 it's a io Hmm? B67. So where it's coming? It's coming to this particular pin B67. Now you got my point. From IO you won't get the uh, direct uh, what is that supply for power button. So in between your register will be there through that register only you will get this. Okay. And also pull up register uh, through that pull up register voltage you will get 3.3 volts. Approximately after that 100k you will get 2.9 or 2.8 volts. Once IO receives the power button through that power button switch, then immediately a signal, the output, what is that? Power button output, PM power button. PM means, uh, means it's a power management. It directly goes to a power management, means it's a PCH, okay? So a output uh, will be released by the IO to PCH. What is the name? PM power button. N. how it will release and how it will transfer to uh, PCH see here here is a pull up register it's R2467 100k see almost all pull up registers will be 100k or 10k hmm? see here 3.3 volts 
PCH S5. S5 state PCH 3.3 volts will be there. No, that's pull up resistor. Through that pull up resistor, this signal is traveling to PCH. See here is the PCH EM61. Here it traveled. Once it resolves this power button, then what voltage it will release? See, once this CPU sock resolves the power button out signal, then immediately PM SLP S5, PM SLP S4, and PM SLP S3. Three uh, main signals will be released by CPU, mean sock. Okay, so according to these signals, S3 state will generate means it's a RAM section will generate you know the reference and 1.2 uh, RAM everything main main coil voltages it will generate but here I am going to explain uh, only the signals in order okay now after the power button out the SLPS 5 4 and 3 will generate so according to this appropriate voltages will generate see after this what will happen See, after the RAM voltage, RAM, uh, VDDQ and what is that power code, after that power code, the run power OK will generate and it will reach to IO. See here, it will reach to IO A2. Is this IO? Yes, IO. See, please note down, here run power OK, when it will generate, once the S0 status voltage will generate. Uh, converts or that what the conversion will be there s3 to s0 state uh, voltage conversion should be happen before this run power okay once the dc to dc converter converts the 3.3 volts voltage is 3 to s0 then only you will get the run power okay hmm. see this run power okay here it's naming as all power system power good and power vcc core enable now what it will do it will generate the vcc gt st and core okay those enable signals will come through this power okay run power okay after this only the enabling signal for vcc gt sa and core will be provided hmm? by this uh, this particular signal once your core gt and sa voltage will generate then the output the pg voltage uh, the power v core we are ready hmm? through this pull up register what is that 10k see here is the 10k as well 3.3 volts s0 state okay that voltage is supply is given to this particular signal then it will become as a pch power ok okay see the pch power ok when it will generate after you are getting the core gt and sa hmm? this information will goes to io where see here alder lake here it will generate the pch power okay and this one will transfer through that pull up register to io here one important information i wanted to give you see once pch power okay is okay then only your uh, what is that uh, clock generator what is that crystal Hmm? PCH crystal will active once PCH power OK is OK then only your crystal will active that PCH crystal after PCH will generate the crystal then the main reset will happen the main reset is system power OK the reset out this will happen after the PCH power OK. This is very very important reset OK for platform. Reset out ash OK. This is very very important. Please note down. See here. This one is elder lake here system power OK is uh, going to the PCH. Hmm. See here is the reset out ash B3 reset out ash the name is converting as reset out ash once your system power ok is reset happened then finally cpu power good signal will be released by cpu see all power ok what is that pch power ok system uh, hardware power ok and system power ok and uh, what is that uh, 35 power ok pch power ok all power ok after all power ok 
the cpu after uh, uh, what is that activate the crystal also the cpu power would finally it will release okay one cpu power good will release then finally what you will get see the final signal plt rst hmm? the signal plt rst when you will get before this cpu power good should be there then before this system power good hmm? pch power okay system power okay so everything should be there hmm? then reset ash should be there reset out ash okay see finally you will get the plt rst so where it will go it will go to appropriate uh, sections what are those sections here many sections it will go once you will get the plt rst signal these are the sections okay this is how from the power button to plt rst will generate in 12th generation motherboard see i have given example of this dell uh, 5320 laptop motherboard but the thing is almost all 12th generation will support the same procedure it will follow the same procedure here and there some signals will be uh, come early or uh, there will be no signals but almost all 12th generations uh, the procedure of this signals uh, in order so i already explained okay see uh, if you want to learn more in day in deep so you can join our uh youtube membership uh, program that one 799 rupees per month so that's your wish that's it so thank you thank you very much